Hi, I'm Donna Lewis, and welcome to Breathe Life Ministries podcast, Take a Breath, your haven of healing and renewal through worship and words of life. I want to talk to you today about purpose. What is your purpose? This is a question I think we've all asked ourselves since we were old enough to ask the question, what am I going to be when I grow up? We, I think, periodically throughout our life review that question. Why am I here? What am I doing here? Is there a reason for me being? And if we can't answer that question, we can become very disillusioned. Today, I want to offer you an insight. One that struck me right between the eyes when I read it. It comes from 1 Timothy chapter 1, verse 5. It's a letter that the Apostle Paul wrote to his disciple. In it, he said this, The purpose of my instruction is that all believers would be filled with love that comes from a pure heart, a clear conscience, and a genuine faith. What I find enlightening and deeply profound is that Paul was a teacher of teachers. He was trained by the best minds that Israel had in his day. He was brought up in a, in a religious home of highly influential uh, members of his society. And then he became a follower of Jesus Christ. So he took all of that training and upbringing and channeled it to his ministry. And when it was all said and done, he believed that the entirety of his purpose could be boiled down to love from a pure heart, a clear conscience, and a genuine faith. This was his mission statement. This is how he identified his purpose. But it didn't stop there. You see, what, what struck me is that this is a universal purpose. Our purpose is to love from a pure heart, a clear conscience, and a genuine faith. It had nothing to do with his societal ranking. It had nothing to do with his status as a Pharisee. It had nothing to do with his political affiliation or his Roman citizenship. It had nothing to do with his occupation as a tent maker or being a prisoner in Rome. It boiled down to love. Love from a pure heart, a clear conscience, and a genuine faith. Now let me ask you, how does this shape your vision of purpose for your life? 
it changes everything the way I view mine. At the, at the end of the day, there's only one question that matters. Did I love those around me? Did I fulfill my responsibilities for the day from a heart of love? Was my love hindered or compromised in any way by corrupted motives, guilt, shame, fear, or was I able to remove selfish motivation, remind myself that I am pure in the eyes of God because of Christ in me. Let's dig a little deeper and break it down. Beginning with love. How we view love shapes everything. If we view love as simple hormones firing, then we don't really have a very profound sense of love, do we? If we simply um, reduce love to a feeling of affection or passion, again, we're not really giving it the full weight it deserves. What is love? Paul broke it down into characteristics and attributes. He, he wrote an entire poetic list in 1 Corinthians chapter 13. It's considered one of the greatest thesis of love ever written. He says that love is first patient. It is able to endure hardship and still maintain kindness. It will not become easily offended or take on an offense, it will be gentle in the way it interacts with other people, even those who are being abusive. It will love the truth and be filled with truth. It will act in ways that are just and full of integrity. It will bring peace into a room and quiet chaos. It will demonstrate self-control and not be prone to rude or angry outbursts of rage and wrath. It will be loyal and not betray another person's trust. It'll be faithful. These are the attributes of love. These are the evidence of love. The next thing he talks about is where this love flows from. 
So there's a source of love and it flows down through us and out to those around us. The channel that that love flows through must be a pure heart, meaning there's no corrupt motives. Your pipeline is not clogged with false motives, motives that stem from selfishness, from a need to control or possess or own. A pure heart and then a clear conscience. I thought that was very interesting. But if we really examine it, one of the big buzz words today is narcissist. A narcissist is someone who's completely um, pathologically selfish. It's all about me. One of the reasons for that comes from a fear of shame. Shame. A narcissist fears that feeling of shame deeply guilt, feeling guilty, admitting that they were wrong is completely opposite of anything that they, they can do. It's the antithesis of them. A clear conscience, having a clear conscience allows us a clear pipeline for love to flow through. But how do we get a clear conscience? I mean, we've all done things we're ashamed of. That clear conscience comes from knowing that our guilt has been removed from us. Our shame has been obliterated. But how? Genuine faith. The last characteristic. Genuine faith. The Bible says that faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of truth. That faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. Faith is how we enter into the presence of God through Christ Jesus, who took all of our shame, all of our guilt, every wrong thing, crucified it on the cross, inside his body. And then, by the power of God, was raised from the dead, canceling out all of that guilt and shame. When we receive that from him, there is no more guilt. There is no more shame. We can now love freely from his infinite reservoirs of grace and truth and patience and kindness and self-control. We can love without a single worry that our needs won't be met because they're all met in Christ Jesus. We love out of his reservoir and he through faith clears 
our pipeline so that we can love fully from a pure heart and a clear conscience in genuine faith. What does this mean to you? It means that social standing, economic position, title are not part of the equation. Whether you're a prisoner or a president, your job is the same. Your purpose is unchanging. How you interact with people is what matters. How you relate to those around you is what matters. Your value is intrinsic because you exist. How you relate to the store clerk, to the cafeteria worker, to your neighbor, it is unchanging. It is your purpose and it is priceless. It is of high value. It is the single great equalizer because it's universal. Everything else is just everything else. How is this knowledge going to shape your, your life from this point on. When you look at your job tomorrow, maybe you're going to go to work in a laundromat. Maybe you're going to serve hamburgers at the local fast food restaurant. Maybe you're going to step into Congress and debate law. How will love that flows from a pure heart, a clear conscience, and a genuine faith impact your interactions tomorrow. That's the question that matters. I love you. I thank you for your time today. I bless you in the name of Jesus. Join me again at Take a Breath with Breathe Life Ministries. I'm Donna Lewis, and have a great day.